Evan, how do you eat chicken nuggets? How do you eat chicken tenders and stay lean and stay fit? The secret. Hey, what's up? This is Evan at Astro Physique. Today we are in the kitchen. I'm about to do a grocery haul for you since I just got back from the grocery store. I figured this would be a good time to show you some of the foods that I get to set myself up for a successful week with my diet. So it's still morning. I got to hit the gym after this, but I wanted to record this video real quick. If you enjoy the content, if you want to see more content, make sure you like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe so I can keep making these videos for you. This isn't a full grocery haul. This is maybe 60 to 70% of what a full grocery haul looks like for me, but I got all the essentials, so that's what I'll be showing you. So first and foremost, we'll start off with the foods that I usually eat right after the gym, which is going to be a protein bar. These are Quest protein bars, which I'm not too crazy about. They have good flavors, but recently I've been trying these protein bars called Anabar, which are actually really good. I just ran out, so I picked up some Quest bars instead, just to hold me over for the week until I get some more Anabars. I also got these pistachios. I think pistachios, peanuts, anything of that nature is really good for you to have as a snack throughout the day. It keeps you full and it has a full profile of macro and micronutrients. I also picked up some beef jerky. This is uh, an HEB brand. Uh, this pack usually lasts me about two days. One serving is about 20 grams of protein. So my post gym meal, which is protein bar, pistachios, and beef jerky. Total, this is about 50 grams of protein for me, which that's usually what I like to keep in mind throughout the day is how much protein am I having. I need to make sure that I hit my protein requirements. And that's probably the most important thing for you if you're cutting or bulking, is just to make sure that you're getting the right amount of protein. All right, next I picked up a few of these packs of VT rice. These, I can just pop them in the microwave. It's a good source of quick carbs and uh, they keep me full. I don't really like to cook too much, which you'll notice. Everything that I get is pretty easy prep. I just pop it in the microwave or pop it in the oven and it's ready in a few minutes and there's not much cleaning either. So that's good for me. As a snack, I also like to have this Greek non-fat plain yogurt. Um, with blueberries. I put some blueberries on there and I just remembered honey. I love honey. I pour this over my Greek yogurt and blueberries. It makes for a perfect high protein snack with the benefits of fruit, with the benefits of honey. So I'm having some sugar in my diet, but ideally my sugars are coming from natural sources and healthy sources like fruit and honey. All right, now we're getting to the good stuff. Um, I pick up some of these Healthy Choice microwave meals. These are really good on macros and there are no preservatives, so I don't eat those every day, but sometimes when I want just a quick, easy meal, I pop those in the microwave and it's a solid 23 to 25 grams of protein, not too much fat, not too much carbs. These are great meals. I've been eating these for years, like I said, not every day, but every once in a while, maybe a couple times a week. Next, we have the chicken breast. Like I said, I don't do a lot of cooking, so these chicken breasts are really easy to make. I just put them in a tray and put them in the oven, and they're ready in about 30 minutes. They're already fully cooked, just frozen, and uh, no antibiotics ever, no preservatives. So they're not bad. Um, I know, I think usually cooking your meals is probably a little bit better in terms of the getting the most out of your chicken, getting the most out of your meals. Uh, cooking your food gives you the healthiest results. At the end of the day, I don't mind sacrificing a little bit for convenience and that's probably what's most important to me and most important to you as well. Now, what I'm about to show you next is an absolute cheat code. 
I've got chicken tenders right here, breaded chicken tenders. You're probably wondering, Evan, how do you eat chicken nuggets? How do you eat chicken tenders and stay lean and stay fit? The secret is right in front of you. I mean, these are air fried, so they have 75% less fat than regular chicken nuggets or chicken tenders. The macros on these per three ounces are four grams of fat, 13 grams of carbs, and 16 grams of protein, which is phenomenal macro values. Uh, those I could eat almost every day, to be honest with you. They're really good, and the macros are perfect. Obviously, you know we need some greens in our diet as well, so I have this baby spring mix. I literally just eat those by the handful just to get my greens in. Uh, it's very important that you get your micronutrients in, whether you wanna cook them, saute them, whatever you wanna do with them, make sure you get your greens in. And just as an added bonus here, I've got this raised no sugar added barbecue sauce. This is a good sauce to have on the side without spilling over on your macros. Regular barbecue sauce happens to have a lot of sugar, a lot of carbs, a lot of fat as well sometimes. So go for the no sugar added option. This brand in particular, Ray's, still tastes really good. I don't even really notice a difference. Um, and I know that it's a lot better for me, which is really good. To be honest with you, I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to share. I hope that maybe you saw something or two things or three things that you can pick up next time you're at the grocery store just to help you with your meals throughout the week. For me, it's all about convenience, health, and consistency. I don't mind eating the same things because everything that I'm eating, I like. I like pistachios, I like beef jerky, I like protein bars, I like chicken. And believe it or not, I even like these. I mean, it's kind of like a healthy version of chips. If you just tell yourself that, it makes it easier for you to eat it. So I don't mind eating the same things every day because I enjoy what I eat. So if you find something that you enjoy, pick it up and make it a staple in your diet. That's going to help you stay consistent, which is the most important factor for seeing results. Anyway, I want to say thank you so much for watching the video. Like I said, if you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future, and I'll be working on them for you. This is Evan at Astrophysique. I'll see you next time.